you know, part in that. I really can't ask for much more. Yeah. Um, where do I want this to go? Uh, I don't really want to coach unless it makes sense. Um, I like training. I like developing. Um, I do, I do want to get into the realm and I've been trying to push that for a little while of doing pre-draft workouts. Mm -hmm. I a thousand percent feel like I will excel at that. Um, so that's my next hurdle I want to uh, jump into. So the whole China situation was trying to help my resume build up to that. Right. Um, but that's something that I definitely want to get into. Um, Cause like I said, I think I would really excel in that because you know, it's, it's, an, it's an accelerated process of getting players prepared for the next level. Mm -hmm. um, and that's right up my alley. Yeah. Um, high intense workouts, but being extremely detailed to work on weaknesses, turn those weaknesses into strengths. So I, I know I can excel in that. So just all about timing and opportunity um, for that, which I know for sure is gonna happen. Absolutely. It's just a matter of when. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna happen for you, dog. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Last two things is these is, I do my top fives. <clears throat> It's going to be three different sets of these. <laughs> I'm a, I wanted to ask you about the Baltimore and D.C. thing, too. <laughs> I'm going to do that on part two because I'm going to get you back on here. That's fine. That's so fine. what I'm going to do is first top five I want to uh, I wanted to ask you is going to be it's kind of the same as the second one. But the first one is who are your five favorite players to train? Hmm. All levels. High school. Because now, again, this is me kind of cheating on this question. I watch your stories every day. You got kids from almost eight U, yeah. nine U, the, all the way down there to to females and young ladies that's in college and women that's overseas to guys that's in the league playing the league, touch overseas, and you had a lot of play. And you joke around with these guys mm -hmm. all the time. So I want to know who your favorite five are to train. Favorite, not not just favorite. That's tough. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to get mad with them too. So y'all <laughs> see him and you get this interview. I want y'all to get mad with him. So let me know, man. Oh, that's tough. All right, I'm, I'm gonna help you out. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, you got it. You yeah, got it. I'm gonna answer it. All right, I got you. I got you. That's tough. Um, high school. I gotta go with my guy Emerson. Uh, DJ mm -hmm. Danzler, I call him knees because he, uh, ever since I met him, he's all been complaining about his knees hurting. We gotta go with him, um, he's one of my favorite and he works hard too. Um, the other guy I gotta go with, I have a love hate relationship with him. Um, if you ever see us in a workout, you'll probably hear me. Probably cursing him out real bad. Turk, his, <laughs> his sister is, uh, is the girl that's at the Arizona State. Okay. Turk's a very talented player. Um, very stubborn and hard headed. He's one of my favorite. Um. Damn. Um. Hype. My man, Hype. Yeah, I've been with Hype since he was in seventh grade. Um, Darty introduced me to him. Um, Hype is up there for sure. One person that is kind of shooting up the list, the guard at Mount Carmel, Samartine. I love that kid. Yeah, he's shooting up my list because he's really humble. And he listens well. Um, doesn't really complain at all. Um, I just started with him during the summer, during the spring of last year. He's becoming one of my faves. Um, That's four. 
That's four right there. Somebody in his last spot. Somebody ready to be mad. I mean, they're all my yeah, favorite. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I should pick your favorite child, huh? Yeah, they're all my favorite. Ah, uh, shit. Damn. Who, who get that fifth spot? Um, <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> Got a kid at Mount St. Joe. Um, it's a sophomore now. Uh, Brighton Barrett. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's about 6'6". Six, six. Um, I've known him since he was like eight. Um, kind of fell off with the training for a little while. No, no bad blood or nothing like that. But then picked back up eighth grade. Um, and he's at Mount St. Joe now. Um, yeah, he's probably the fifth spot. No, so, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be some people. <laughs> it is what it is. No, I had to ask that, bro, because, yeah. again, man, it's not even – this is very serious. Like, you have a passion to help a lot of these players, like yeah. whether it's the kids or the pros. Yeah. So I had to ask that. No, 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 no. You understand. have a good relationship with almost all – I'm not saying yeah. almost yeah. all of them. So yeah. I had to ask that nah, question. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Tough one. Yeah, that's that's the high school part. You said college now. Uh, yeah, you can do you can break it down. I was gonna, that's what I was gonna say. I can break it down. We can do high school, college, and then you can do college beyond that. College. <laughs> college. Jayla Bannerman has to be on this list. <laughs> Unfortunately, ah, yep. See, that's a, yeah. That's one of your favorites right there. Because it's unfortunate she got to make the list first, though. Exactly. You know, <laughs> extremely annoying, <laughs> extreme a lot of potential, extremely dramatic, extremely. Uh, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. Um, she goes to the Eastern Shore. Um, her. Another girl, Jessica Booth, Phil Booth's sister. Okay. Yeah, so uh, um, the Booth family just talented all the way no, down. For huh? sure, for sure, for sure. Um, special situation with her because, you know, we've been working since her senior year uh, before she went to college. Weakness shooting. So we put in hours and hours and hours and hours. So whenever I see her in a game making jump shots, I'm super excited because I know that's something that she's been trying to improve over the years, and we've attacked that in so many different ways. So mm -hmm. um, to see her have success, I actually drove to see her game last year. She was at uh, Lafayette. Um, pure point guard, too. She can pass. She knows how to read the pick and roll as well also, too. Um, so just to see her play and be ex uh, and excel. She's now at Elon. Uh, as a grad transfer, um, so yeah. Um, who else? D'Angelo Steins, mm, number three. That's the number three spot. D'Angelo, you at number three? <laughs> he's uh, he's at Loyola now. He transferred from Old Dominion. Came out of nowhere in high school um, when I got him his junior year to the point where he got the older man offer because um, it was during COVID. So it wasn't oh, too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, went to Mount St. Joe. He won a championship there. Um, senior year, really killed everybody. Had a few 30-point games. Um, so took off. Love working with him. Doesn't complain. Just puts the work in. It's gotten better every year. Defense is good. Just shoot, dribbling. Um, uh, two more. <laughs> uh, hey, I just want y'all to know if y'all ain't really understand the boys' list of players as long as Shaq feet. No facts. Um. Damn.
John Lamothe. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Good dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> number four, John. John Lamothe, freshman in college. Got, he has his hurdles, has his bumps, as expected. Um, just trying to navigate the situation the best way possible. But really humble kid. Um, worked his ass off to get to where he's at right now, playing at Maryland. Um, you know, built up to that with a lot of hard work. You know, kind of handled him like Noah a little bit. Um, I think during COVID, um, we were doing pickup games at Route 1. Um, and I just told him, come on. Yeah. This is shit. Justin Jennifer, Damian Chonkui, <laughs> Noah Locke, Miles Douglas, Karan, John, Justin Burrell, shit, Timmy Bond, Kamal, all, all these names in the, in the gym playing pickup. Youngest kid in there, mm -hmm. him and Derek. Come on in there, get some blood, get better. Mm -hmm. He didn't shy away from it. Hey, all. It helped him. So that stands out. That 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 does a lot for me. You ain't trying to hide. You embraced it, um, and you wasn't scared. You played like you was one of them. Right. So yeah, he's definitely on that list. Um, close it out now. Just to close out. I'm gonna, somebody else getting ready to be mad. I'm gonna add another girl there. Okay. There's probably another guy I can add, but I'm gonna add another girl there. Mm -hmm. Jalen Brown, I just talked about her. Just that story was highly recruited by a ton of schools. Um, picked Louisville. It was, seemed like it was worked out, but it didn't work out. She ended up transferring. Wasn't happy with the situation. Wasn't happy down there. Got a new opportunity at Arizona State and is running with it. Mm -hmm. Just had... This is 34, 39 last night. Damn. Yeah. Oh, she, oh, she gets buckets like that. Uh, yeah, she's running okay. with the opportunity okay. right now. I'm going to check her out. Yeah, she's running with it. 6 1, one two, three position. Okay. Um, That's dope. Yeah. Love her to death. Um, she's really running with it. Really running with it. Um, so I'm happy just because, again, that situation didn't work out well. Been with her since her junior year. Um, watch her grow, watch her get better. Um, putting a lot of work. So, yeah. That rounds out yeah. uh, the college. Pro. Fuck. Mm -hmm. I think he's really going to be tight on that. Yeah. One. Ben, I got something that's going to make him even tighter on the next one. Well, go ahead. All right. Um, <clears throat> Lindra Little is my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, Shout out to her for, for you know, for being there in the beginning. Yeah, she was definitely there at the beginning. Um, definitely there at the beginning. Um, and I owe a lot of success to her. She's actually one of my best friends, so shout out to her. Yeah, major shout out, salute to her. Um, a name you don't know of, David Jackson. Mm -hmm. from Montgomery County one of my good friends too he's actually the same age as me 41 he's still playing mm. and still killing what's his name? David Jackson David Jackson okay shout out to David plays in Brazil top five in scoring probably the last three four years 40 years old getting a bucket he's getting a bucket um, known him for a long time. We used to work out with the same trainer, Kevin Hurrah. He's a coach now in, at the school in Tennessee, mm -hmm. I believe. Funny how we met. We met at the Suburban Coalition. Mm -hmm. Fucked me up crazy. He gave me like 40. Um, That's when I was at uh, Run the Shoot? Yes. Yeah. Didn't know him. Mm -hmm was guarding him like a normal person. Right, that's how it happened. But you know. the thing about it is like, the three-point line here, he's shooting back there. Yeah. So I'm like, 
<laughs> Ain't nobody making that shit. Yeah. Unless you plan on TV. Yeah. Making that shit consistently. Yep. So fast forward when I got introduced to my trainer before I went to Germany to prepare for that. Going to the gym. One day, he in there, I'm like, I know you from somewhere. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I don't, he's like, I don't know. Then I started talking about the coalition. I was like, you the nigga that fucked me yeah. up. Yeah. So we started talking, <laughs> yo, like. Yeah. And I think I had like 16 that game, but I probably could have had more, but I was just tripping. Like, this nigga is frying me. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, yo, what the hell? Like, and I'm, now I start pushing out there, and he's strong as hell, so it was like. You know Phil Goss from Oxen Hill that went to yeah. Oxen Hill? Yeah. Same thing happened to me with him. Yeah. First time I ever met him, put yeah. foot all the way through to the Yeah, bro. Like, he's it's crazy. Fine. Yeah, so he's up there. Um, Shout out to David. Was David Jackson, you said? David Jackson. David Jackson. Karan DeShields. Great relationship with him. Great, great relationship with him. Um, definitely a little bro. Um seen the growth in his game from college to now. Not a weakness in the world. Mm -hmm. um, just need the opportunity. But that'll happen. Um, owe a lot of my success to him as well also too. Um, that's three. Yep, that's three. Two more, then you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> then you're going to have a good question. I got a good one at that. Shit. <clears throat> Brandon Young. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. I'm a fan. I'm yeah, a fan. He's a good dude, man. I'm a fan. He's a good dude. He'll tell you. I'll be like, yo, where's my highlight tape? Dog. Oh. I, I need I need to see I need to see the, the mixes. Yo, he's a Yeah, I need to see the mixes. He's different, bro. Man. I know niggas that's like my man KP. Well obviously you know KP. Yeah. KP don't even talk about players like that. Yeah. But he talks about when it him. came to him, he yeah. like, yo, that nigga is different. Bro. Nah, he is. Yeah. He is. A lot of people don't know about him, but a lot of people do. But he's different. I've known about him my whole life. The yeah. first time I met him was at the open gym that day. Oh, for real? That was my first time yeah. in life I ever met him. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, everything that he was saying mm -hmm. was definitely true. He's like, to me, was to me what he plays, he's like Darren Williams. He yeah. just reminds me like that, like yeah. nothing looks out of control. Nothing. You're not taking the ball. No. Like he's gonna make a good decision. And like you said, now you got that knockdown jumper. You yeah. said he's having jumper troubles. I'm like, yo, this nigga was sinking when we was playing. Like, yeah. he wasn't missing no shots like that. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Um, Four piece. Now you had, what did you get the last one? Stan Kid. Okay. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Um, I mean, he got it out the mud, made it to the league. Facts. Nothing else to be said about Nothing that. Nothing else to be said, bro. Went from playing in Belgium to playing on the big show, on the big stage. So, that's all to be said about <laughs> that situation. Went from playing in Belgium to playing on the big stage. Shout Steadily out. went up mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. um, got better, got better, got better, got better. Made it. Shout out to Stan, man. Yeah. So, he coming on soon. Yeah, that's my five. Um, what's the next question? I feel like, I feel like you about to. <sighs> now the next question is this, yo. Yeah. You done ran and and you done played against a lot of players. You done trained a lot of players. <laughs> I know. You From playing with. and training. Yeah. Who are the top five players that you've played against or trained against or trained? No matter the level. Either base it off of their actual talent at the time or the potential talent that, that they harbor now because you got hype and you got Derek and them now. So just players that I've played against. Players you've played against? And then players Players like, you've trained. So all two, two, of them two, all two, of them in company. Oh, just one list. All one list. Oh shit. All one list. The top five players. I've heard Talib Brown's name. I've heard Omar Cook's name. I've heard so many names. Who are the top five players that you've encountered? Lenny Cook. Mm. And this is Lenny during the high school. This is during the yeah, Lenny I, era. Yeah, Lenny high, high school. I've never seen anything like this. Um, Lenny Cook is one. Um, 
there's a dude that we played against in high school, a team from Rochester, that he got the beef with. He had a two guard. His name was Dewan Cheatham. I never forget that name. Dewan Cheatham? Fried. <laughs> He was like 34. Mm. Fried us. Shoot, bounce, lay up, posting up, skinny ass, two guard, frying us. Mm -hmm. And talking shit. Hey, man, wherever you at in this world, we need to find you, dog. Yeah, I don't even think he's hooping more. He lives in Atlanta now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But um, he's up there. Uh, Out of that trio, be careful. That trio of Talik, Omar, and and and, uh, and Andre. Andre was the better shooter out of the three. Mm -hmm. Omar had the best career because he played for a long time. Yeah. To me, to me, and he couldn't shoot either. But to me, and this I, and this may be biased because I played against him more. So I saw more of him, but Talik was damn near unstoppable. Mm -hmm. I say that because, so he's going to be on this list. I say that because he was bigger than the both of them. He was 6'3". Right. Brosh, yeah. What y'all call brolic. Yeah. <laughs> but can dribble. Yeah. Get in the lane. People bouncing off him, layup. Mm -hmm. And one. Mm -hmm. Can dime, pass left hand, right hand. So it was just like. But if you look at his career, it didn't go as far as those two. But he's the only one with a national championship, right? From UConn, yeah. So, kudos to him, absolutely. But yeah, he 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 was. He Went was to UConn in their prime years too. Yeah, I'm saying. So you know, he, not to down Omar at yeah, all, yeah, or or my man. But it's like yeah, he was he was tough. He was tough, and I felt like he never got the recognition that he should have got because. His school was in the B conference with us, so we played them more often. Rice and Christ the King was in the A. Mm -hmm. But so the thing is, at my school, Nazareth, would toggle back and forth between A and B, but we were scrimmage those schools. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, LaSalle was in the A. They came to our school from scrimmage lane. Mm -hmm. Dunking everywhere, like just dunking. I can't imagine. Just dunking shit. Like I can't imagine. Stealing that. the ball, half court, jumping up, getting out there, nobody stepping in front of him. Dunk. You know what I'm saying? So it was just, it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it may not be anybody that I train. Honestly, um, it may not be. Um, Which isn't surprise. Kevin. Kevin Durant. I'm ready to say. Cause I played with him, mm -hmm. the very farm. Uh huh. Um, different. Yo, not enough to be said, bro. Like different. Like different. Like different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like different. Shout out to KD, man. Like, and he was cool. Like, yeah, we won a championship down there. He was on our team, him and Shaq, with me, Ojo, and the other people that we ran with, Coop and them. But like, he always wanted, to, he asked to play with us. He yeah. wanted to play with us. Um, but, Jesus. Like, and there was one game we played against him. Um, and we started off the game, we was beating him. Because Cliff was playing with him. The other four that played at Texas with KD was there with him too also. Damian James? Yes. <clears throat> yes. And I forgot who, who was the guard. So, um, we're doubling KD. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> he complaining. Why y'all doubling? It's, it's, it's the summertime. You seven foot. You, me. you you the goat. Yeah. Of right now. Yeah, exactly. The fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah, we doubling you. Crowd getting mad. Why y'all doubling? Mm. Like, we trying to win. We trying to win, right? Listen, don't get it twisted. We all gonna compete, mm -hmm. but we not stupid, right? Exactly. None of us can guard you one on one. Not one. Nothing. Person. 
Like, I think he came at me full speed one time. I was just like, how the fuck this nigga get so low? Mm -hmm. He crossed. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, I wasn't wildly out of there, but he caught me, but it was just like, I was just confused. I was like, why is this nigga so low? This nigga seven foot. God damn. Yeah. I was just like, damn. Mm -hmm. But that game, dumbass coach, took the double off. He, second half took the double off. I think he had like, I want to say he only scored like twice in the first half. Took the ball out of his hand several times because he was doubling. Mm -hmm. Second half, probably like 35. That's crazy. Hitting turnarounds the opposite way. That's Turnaround threes. Just going crazy. Just going crazy. And he all nets too. He, he, none of his. Yeah. Like his shits be but this nets. this is outside. Yeah, and that's, for, that's the other part. But threes turning the other way outside. outside. I'm just like how? dealing with the elements. Like people don't understand. No you don't think up. You don't think about that when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. You get to an adult because when I started playing the farms, I hadn't played outside in a while. Yeah, I didn't realize how difficult that is. Oh, to very. shoot outside. Very. You didn't think about that as a kid. Yeah. You was just hooping. Yeah. And for me, different than most people, that's all I knew. So it was a comf I was comfortable with that because mm -hmm. I didn't play indoors. indoors That's all indoors. I knew. Right. Just playing outside. So that element of the air, all that shit, like I was used to that. Mm -hmm. Then I was removed from that when I got to college. Play primarily inside. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So then to come back to that and do that. It's mystifying. Dog. And I think back then, didn't they still had a round backboards? They wasn't glass yet, was they? It was glass. It was glass, glass but okay, I'm ready to say because I remember yeah. when he was out there just nailing yeah. them joints yeah. with yeah. them yeah. back. Yeah. Nah, now yeah. that is a different level of shooting. You, nah, nah, sure. you nail on those. The round joints is crazy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You, you, you different, yeah. but no, nah, that's nah, the glass. Yeah, they had the glass backboards, but yeah, it's outside of them, yeah. the court uneven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like ball bouncing. Yeah, like, your dribble okay, but the ball bouncing yeah. somewhere else it's yeah. like crazy, like, like. I respect anybody that really go out there and just kills because it's just like, it's just different. Yeah, for sure. Um, KD for sure. So you got, got Lenny at the one. You said, was the boy Cheatham at the yeah, two? Cheatham. Talik, Talik at the three. KD. Full spot KD. I'm going to have to go with Ojo. Oh, my. That's a that's a very good choice. The, Le the LeBron James of basketball man, around the way. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Ojo. Um, I never even seen anybody play on both ends like that. Like, can score and will lock you up. Like, just working out with him, training with him, and Gumby and all of them, like, help improve my game because he, he just guard, 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 guard. And he's relentless on defense. So, yeah, Ojo. I was leaning, I was, I was starting to lean towards, um, People don't. People know about him, but people don't know about him. God rest his soul, Jamal Board. He's a close yeah, six. Because I, because it's because I know Ojo and I seen Ojo grind. So mm -hmm. Ojo's definitely on that list, yeah. and that's my guy. It's Ojo, tough, 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 Man. tough. Silent was. Whew. Silent was like a creative player to me. Like he's like a creative player because. You're not 6'7". You're mm -hmm. not like 6'10", none of that. Skill level, crazy. The skills? It was crazy. Yo, he was doing moves I had. And I seen, and I seen Ojo really guard this dude. Mm -hmm. Guard him, guard him. Hand in his face. Like, if he was alive today, of course he's not going to say, yeah, somebody could lock me up. But I'm sure if he kept it a buck, yeah, Ojo made me work more yeah. than anybody else. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got Ojo on that list. But yeah, Silent was tough. No, very Jesus tough. Christ. Silent was very tough. Like I was I was at, I was in the gym when he had 72. That was crazy. Yeah. I would I would love to see that. Yeah, it was insane. I mean the I don't even know how to describe it, dog. Other than like you say, you're super, super skilled. Yeah. But to me, and again, it was like a creative player. My nigga, yeah. he was when he got hot like that. That wasn't a one-time thing. Like, the no. 72 thing, that was, okay, he got 70. Yeah. But he's got plenty of 40s, 50s, 40s, for 30s, sure. 50, on whoever you can yeah. think, too. For sure, for But sure. with Ojo, that, that pick right there, bro, I don't think there's a, like you said, there's not a more complete basketball player 
that I know that didn't go to the highest level yeah. other than him. Yeah. He has every tool you need on defense. That's he's true. got long arms, fast feet, and he's athletic as shit. Strong yeah. as an ox on the low. Still dunking. And still dunking. Still dunking. Offensively, I took a move from him, the little quick joint yeah. like that. Bro, I seen him do that when I was like, I think I might have been like 21. Yeah, he's been doing that for years. And he's been doing it for before. And I'm yeah. like, yo, this dude is remarkable. I never knew he was that old. Yeah. I didn't know he was playing that long. Yeah. And then I started looking back at Drew All-Star's tapes. He's in all of those. Yeah. And he's in all of the ones now. Yeah. I'm like, yo, he's remarkable. I always had much respect for him. He for was sure. definitely talented. But damn, that five, though. That five is crazy. Yeah. Is there anybody that you train now that can get into that get into that five, you think? Potentially. Yeah. Cause you train some you train some show enough dogs now. Yeah, definitely. Just definitely. name a couple. You got Derek Queen, top player in the country, Hype Jackson, one of the top players in the country. I mean, which one of these guys do you think could step into that room and, and, and possibly be one of the best players that you've encountered? If you could look at them from right now. Unless you don't want to say. Derek. Derek, for sure? Yeah, because he's just multi-dimensional. And then he's 6'10". Mm. He can't do nothing about that height. Mm -mm. He's 6'10". He can dribble. He can pass. Now. Footwork is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Derek. His confidence is crazy. Yeah. I mean, he a queen. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? I say we. You know what I'm saying? Collectively, that's what we do. Shout out to Derek. But, yeah, I, honestly, I thought, I thought he was going to make the five. That's why I threw the potential one in there. I was like, yeah. man, maybe if I throw that in there, he yeah. might say something. But those five, he's, yeah. I will take that five right there that yeah. you that you named. But, yeah. um, no, but that's dope. I always wanted to know that because, again, you're, the list of players that you came across, bro, is extensive. And now knowing that Ty Leak Brown aspect of it, it's like, man, I can only imagine the players. Because I didn't even ask you that. Yeah. I didn't even go across to the – I'm going to wait and do that in another, another episode. Yeah. But, the players that were in your area who you thought was the best other than Ty League and Omar. And that, that's... It's a ton of them. I mean, because you just in Brooklyn for that part. Yeah, there's a ton of them. You go to Queens and you go to... The list goes on and on. Tired, so, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm, that's two remarkable lists, man.